Hi, this is Kara Hart, and what do I have on my desk? I have box one of two uh, from Mitzi. And so it says here, Care, here's some more happy mail for me. Use how you feel. Auction or hardest. Enjoy. Hugs. Mindy. Mitzi. Box one of two. And so um, I started to go through it and I forgot to turn the camera on. That's why you see it partially gone through. But you can see there is a stack of inks. She's got some whites in here. Um, it just says pearlescent bright. I'm not sure what color that is. But whoever gets it is going to end up loving it anyway. And then um, Cosmo something. Why do people put stickers of the price over the top of labels? I don't know. And then there's yellow. Um, graphite black. Clear resist pad. Um, so it's a clear ink. Uh, this chalk is in sea crystal. This one's in brown. Another one in like a coppery brown. This one is blue indigo. Uh, we have warm green, white, black, black, and black. That is just a fabulous mix of colors for this ink. And if you're a hardest um, and you haven't updated your wish list yet, please do that because many of the hardest actually have um, had quite a few things taken off their wish list in the month of December um, and in the month of November. So please double check your wish list. And if you're a hardest and you're watching this and you're like, wait, 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 where do I update the wish list? You either send an email to me, a uh, message in Facebook to me, or if you're on Facebook, please send it to Jean Peters. She actually is the one that keeps the wish list updated for us. Uh, the Warm Winter Wishes. Isn't that a cute one? With the little snowflakes. On this one, um, it is, and I did look and peek, it is the alphabet. And the alphabet all the way from A to Z, the numbers 1 to 0. Um, that sounds funny. 0 to 9, I guess you would say. And then um, in addition to the numbers, it has symbols, really cool symbols. Um, and so it has like, uh, let me see if I can get to the bottom and show you. Oh, look at that. It has... An exclamation point, a bracket, a dollar sign, a cent sign, a stamp, and then that little dotty thing with a circle. Um, and then this is the number sign down at the bottom. And these are for die cutting machines, cuddle bugs, stuff like that. It has frames and a little, um, oh, what do you call that? But that's that's a cool shape. I forget what you call that. Scallop circle. Something like that. Okay, here's more of the symbols. There's your Y. Okay, and, quite. oh, that's a question mark. Another bracket and the A. So, good stuff and yes yes I did peek okay now on to the stuff I haven't seen yet because I haven't this reminds me of the brass style but I'm not sure what it's made of um, so they're dream weaver embossing plates look at that this one says let it snow and that one says peace on earth oh look at this album a 12 by 9 album Oh, and you know what's great about this is they can use this album in so many different ways. And if you're a hardest and you receive this album, um, it has lots of little slots in it. And in these slots, do you see this right here? So there's like a little slot, two by two, right there. You can put your art, you can put your trading cards in here. This looks to be like a three by four. Um, there's lots of different things that you can put in here, and you can use it for storage and organization. And she gave you extra plastic sheets that fit into this album. That is very nice. Also, on the inside, it has uh, creativity words and quotes. I love this brand. Um, I have picked up a couple of things from them. And this just, this I don't know. I just think that it's not to be punny, but it's creative. So, so it says creativity, the alchemy of art, creative, an adjective showing imagination. And it has all these little quotes. I've, I've used this brand myself in a couple of different things. I hope I have you all on screen here. Just started thinking about that. Oh, and she has quite a few in here. And then it gives you instructions on how to use it. Nice. And lots of ideas. And then more in the back. How fun. Now, um, if you get this, don't be afraid to take the book apart. Sometimes it's easier to do that than cutting things out of a book. Find your middle point. Um, I'm sure there's a middle point in here somewhere. Yep, there it is. And it only has staples. So it might be easier to cut your pages apart if it's not in the book. So 
I'll leave that together. Here's some fabulous stickers. Santa and Winter Wonderland. Passions for Paper, a training book. Oh, look at this one. Victorian Decorative Initials. How beautiful is that? Oh, yeah, this is good stuff. So, um, sometimes... Yeah, here we go. Dover Clip Art Series. You can just uh, cut these out and use them, or you can use them to inspire yourself to draw and make things. Um, but yeah, this is just absolutely beautiful. This is Floral Spot Illustrations, copyright free designs, hundreds of uses, so you can uh, print and reuse these ones. Uh, so if you're a artist and you have a printer, do me a favor and update your wish list and say have printer because that'll make a difference on when I send you printables and when I send you, um, like instead of sending the the a few pages out of a printable because we can only afford to print so many every month um i could send you the whole thing uh the the whole digital image set and anything that i've ever sold in an auction uh, update your wish list because i'm going to sit down in the next couple of weeks oh no i'm doing taxes in the next couple of weeks i'm going to sit down sometime in january and um assess everybody's wish list and see if anybody wants printables from any of my auctions. Um, anything that I've ever offered for sale is open to every hardest for free. Um, oh, this is a cool book. So this is Designing with Simplicity. And this works not just on 12 by 12s when you're thinking of scrapbooking. This is also good for making card layouts and art layouts um, when you're painting stuff. This could be your focal point in this shape, and if you think of it that way. Uh, tags and titles. Very nicely done. And again, don't just look at these as scrapbook pages. Sometimes you can look at them as layouts for your own artistic style. Oh, this is neat. So that says, that's life, finding scrapbook inspiration in the everyday. Look how she put the little tags in there. Very cool. And Sharpies. I will open this up and divvy that out instead of one person gets five, five people will get one. Um, then these are chipboard die cuts. Oh, this is cool too. Acid and lingon free paper. And it has a bunch of different cards in here. It says 24 double-sided cards. Uh, these are journaling cards. Oh, and it's a 12-month calendar kit. Look at that. And it has cool papers in there for them to play with. Some stickers to go with the calendar pages, and a hanging thing to be, and it says it's eight by eight and a half inches. That is fabulous. That is really, really cool. I like this. And then they can make their and decorate their own calendar. That's really cool. Some puppy love right here. Bow, wow, wow. Yippee yo, yippee yay. Yeah, somebody over there is snickering right now. So you have uh, does the tags. There are a bunch of different um, colors inside of this one. You can kind of see the different colors right there. Oh, look, it has a little opening. I can cheat. I can show you. See? not this. So that's polka dots. That's chevron. And there's different kinds in there in that shape. This one is a button set. And it doesn't look like they're all buttons. Uh, but it does look like they're all, is it wood? Heavy chipboard. And that's what that looks like. Smile says it all from my mind's eye. Sometimes your joy is the source of your smile, but sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. Oh, that's sweet. Um, just be yourself. Spread your wings. And it has some bling. Oh, these are really cool. These are little charms that are uh, metal. Yep, metal. And some dots. And some fabulous flowers to inspire someone to go and make their own embellishments. Because when I see something like this in a store, I'm like, oh, I could make that. I don't buy it. And then, you know, I never remember to come back and do that. And so even if you don't have a punch with the flowers, you really can sit and cut these kinds of things out with less of a particular flower um, angle to it. More of like that scalloped edge. And it still looks really, really good. I like how they stitched that one. And then this one here, these are artist trading cards starting starting bits. Um, so that's really cool. And they're the right size. Two and a half by three and a half, I think, is the measurement. 
And so let's go to her box too. Yes, this one also exploded, but it exploded only on one side. Look at that. Look at how it totally exploded right there, but it surprised. I mean, it survived. Care, more happy mail from me. Use how you feel, auction or artists, hugs, Mindy, Mitzi. So thank you, Mitzi. Again, please everybody join me in saying thank you to the fabulous Mitzi. Ooh, look at these. So these are collection folios. And the hardest are probably happy that the... Tim Holtz auction is over because some of the Tim Holtz stuff is making their way to some of the hardest who have that on their wish lists. Uh, this is an accordion purse kit. How fun is that? Has seven gypsies. A cardstock pack in creamy white. Whatever you are, be a good one. A hundred inspirational quotes. These are really good for junk journalers as well because they can use the individual pages in part of their art. It's really good for the mixed media artists, too, because they can use it to inspire their art as well as use it within their art. So this one is Art Before Breakfast, a zillion ways to be more creative no matter how busy you are. Well, that's a good book. Oh, that is a really good book. I like that. Uh, this is stencils. So this would be really good for those who have the... Um, Whole, what do you call those things? Jelly plates. This is good for those who have the jelly plates because um, it's in a shape that isn't square. Yes, I'm op opening it. That's just how I'm doing it. But you can use this on your jelly plate as a screen. You see this right here? You have the tree and you put it on your jelly plate. And so you roll your ink down, place this on the jelly plate, and then put your paper on top. Or you can ink over this too. These are pretty easy to clean too. And they're nice and thin for the layering. So that'll be fun for those with the jelly plates. If you're a hardest and you don't have a jelly plate, to me that's actually one of the basic supplies. So now of course if you only chose jewelry, I'm not sending you a jelly plate, but if you chose other things beyond the jewelry, um, paper crafting or painting, then jelly plates on your list and I will uh, consider that a priority. Um, I don't know where I stopped off on sending the jelly plates to the new hardest, so please make sure that's on your wish list. Um, and if you don't know what one is, put it on your wish list anyway. It's a lot of fun to play with. So this is beautiful fabric. Oh, I went right past the oil pastels in both sets. So this is Crayola, and this is um, Artist Loft. But look at that. I got carried away with the fabric. You would have too. That's what would have happened. So you have farmhouse and cardinals and so pretty and little bird houses right there we have blue and yellow my husband had a shirt very similar to this a long time ago Oof, that is a pretty color too look at that it's uh grays with the whites yeah it's not a cream it is a full white my brain is seen as a cream so maybe it's just the lighting and then that looks like a, a snowman with a star. Oh, and that's a cool, look at that fabric. Can you see it? Oh, so hard to see that one, but you, when you see it in person, it's very cool. Then you have a green one, and this is a lot of fabric too, so the fabric lovers are gonna love this. And pumpkin-y fun. And hardests, I know that fabric is not one of my categories, but if you want fabric, please make sure that it's on your wish list. You don't have to remove it unless you feel like you have too much fabric, so please make sure that's there if you do want some, because we do now get some fabric in as donations. And so we've got some blues and golds and Santa. Vintagey looking Santas mixed in with the new looking Santas. Isn't that fun? This is a stamp -a majig Oh, that is very cool. Okay, I do, I do think this would be something that would be easy for the one-handed folks um, or struggling with arthritis and stamping easily. So please, um, I, I do have a couple of other tools that I haven't divvied out yet. Um, so if you would like 
Uh, oh, did I divvy them out? I don't remember. I really don't remember. But anyway, if, if you want things to help you stamp easier, let me know. Let me know on that. I do have one that's going in an auction that came from my stash. Um, but I might send that to a hardest too. The Soothe Your Stress Coupons. Isn't this cute? This would be fun in a junk journal kit too. I haven't had any times to pull together a really good junk journal kit. Otherwise, I would put that into one of those. Creative Paper Folding. Ooh, this is going to be a great book for somebody. Look at that. A paper garden. How fun is that? And it gives you the templates and such too. I'm about to make everything fall over, so I'm going to move this box out of my way. Slide up and out of the way. So this is the creative paper one. This one says, through the year, art to the heart. Oh, that's so fun. Somebody can totally do this as a paper craft or a fabric craft. Look at that. How fun this would be. And it has it in the reverse order so you can cut it out and do it where um, you're drawing on the reverse side. That's what that's for. And they did theirs with fabric. Um, sewing decor. It's a special section. Oh, I love how they did the mason jar with the buttons. Old time crochet for the crochet lovers. If you're a hardest and you do crochet, please add that in your wish list as well. Just put on there, I do crochet. Um, and then that kind of thing um, would be helpful. So, or if you say, uh, I don't know how to guess. Most yarn doesn't come with numbers on it if it ever comes. Um, and so I don't know how to guess what the sizes are. So if you give me sizes, I really don't know. Um, it's more random than that. An encyclopedia of crazy quilt stitches and motifs. An encyclopedia of ribbon embroidery flowers. Wow, that's very cool. Um, bead and button. That's awesome. This is one of the ornament cover things. I've seen some people's work recently, and wow, it's impressive. So some of those folks probably need to start early to even do the ornaments for next year. This is fancy beadwork, blocks and bars. It has uh, descriptions on how to do that. It says 12 projects are in that one. This is outdoor decor in glass, metal, and wire. Okay, it says a bedroom out of this world. I kind of want to see. Oh, look at the watermelon suit. How cute that is. Some polymer flowers, some outdoor decor. Okay, so it has a bunch of different projects in this one and another beadwork. Ooh, that's really cool. Another beadwork project. So with all of that, please, please join me in thanking the fabulous Mitzi. This is absolutely amazing. Love and hugs everyone. Oops, I totally forgot I was going to read one of these. So I'm going to keep reading this box until, until the box is uh, empty and then I'll go to the next one. The most powerful law in the universe. Every thought vibrates, every thought radiates a signal, and every thought attracts a matching signal back. We call that process the law of attraction. The law of attraction says that what is like it unto itself is drawn. You know, there's a science behind that, too. We tend to hire people like ourselves. Um, yeah, I don't know all the details behind it. I just know I read a couple of studies like that. But anyway, back to that. Love and hugs, everyone. Bye-bye.